Hey everybody, welcome to day 10 of the apple cider vinegar challenge. Congratulations, you made it to day 10. And today I wanna to talk to you about how apple cider vinegar can help relieve gastric reflux, better known as heartburn. Apple cider vinegar contains acetic acid, and I know it doesn't sound like it would help, it sounds like it's the opposite of what you really want, but did you know that most people that suffer from heartburn actually have too little stomach acid? For some people, acid reflux is because they're not making enough of their hydrochloric acid and their pH is getting too high. Apple cider vinegar may be beneficial because it introduces more acid into the digestive tract. So there are two theories that underlie why apple cider vinegar can help with this. One underlying theory is that the acidic acid in vinegar actually lowers the stomach acidity, which means it increases its pH, since acetic acid is a weaker acid than hydrochloric acid. Your stomach acid is typically between 1.5 and 3. And it is believed that apple cider vinegar may buffer and maintain your pH around three. In this milder acidic environment, your stomach can still efficiently digest your food, but it causes less problems with the esophagus and therefore less heartburn. So another theory is that it lowers the lower esophageal sphincter is pH sensitive and your lower esophageal sphincter is the sphincter that is in your stomach between your stomach and your esophagus and normally it's closed, especially when food is in there. It prevents that food from backing up into your esophagus and it's contended that it's pH sensitive. So this means that when there's food in the stomach with insufficient acid present, the sphincter can periodically flop open and cause the contents to reflux and then you'll get your symptoms. Too little acid in the stomach may be caused by different factors, but the problem is as we get older, we actually produce less gastric acid. As a result, the sphincter valve sensing less acid periodically will flop open whether there's food or not in your stomach and can cause acid reflux. Drinking apple cider vinegar supplies that valve with the acidity that it needs to function properly, stay closed, and prevent acid reflux. Apple cider vinegar also helps to improve digestion and mineral absorption, which is also thought to play a role in reducing acid reflux symptoms. So if you suffer from heartburn or you know someone that does, there's a very simple tonic that you can take that will help alleviate symptoms. So you just use one to three teaspoons of apple cider vinegar placed in one cup of water and drink that tonic whenever you have symptoms. The shot of the day will also help because it's gonna put more of that acid into your stomach and prevent that lower esophageal sphincter from opening. So today's shot of the day I decided to make with aloe juice because aloe helps improve the absorption of nutrients. And aloe, we're gonna be talking these next two days about digestion. So I thought this was the perfect shot to make. So how did I make this shot? So I put one cup of aloe juice in one cup of apple cider vinegar and just mixed it up. You can also add lemon. This aloe juice comes with lemon in it, so I didn't need to add it myself. So just check your aloe. If it's flavored with lemon, then you don't need to add it. But if it is not, if you wanna add lemon, just a squeeze of lemon will do. So Erin is going to join me and we're gonna do our shot. I call this one aloe, aloe. <laughs> All right. Yep, cheers. Here, step in so they can see you. <laughs> oh, it's different. It's different. Mm -hmm. Almost kind of like um, chlorine. Do you get that? I know, it's just got a the different flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the aloe has a very mild flavor, mm -hmm. but yet you taste it. Yeah, it's not bad. So though. it's really good. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's different. But it will help with digestion, and so will apple cider vinegar. So it's a really good shot to make yeah. if you um, have problems with digestion. Now remember, you can always dilute it more if you want. So you can actually add more aloe. It, um, it has a lot of health benefits as, itself. So adding um, a little bit of apple cider vinegar to a half a cup and drinking it throughout the day can definitely help.
Well, I, since we've started this, I had like two weeks of that, like indigestion. And mm -hmm. since we've started this, like within like three or four days, it started getting less and less. Oh, really? And now I don't have it anymore. And that could be why. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. So. so there you go. And I want to hear from you. Today's day 10. So today's a great day to recap for us how you're feeling. Are you feeling any different? Are you noticing any changes um, in your health, in your habits, in your energy, um, anything like that. So please, it's really interesting. It, people love to see how other people are feeling. It helps them get on board. It helps them try it. So please comment below any feelings that you're having about the challenge. And tomorrow, I'm going to talk about how apple cider vinegar can actually help if you have gastric ulcers. So um, tune in tomorrow and congratulations on day 10. Yay! All right, we'll, we'll be back tomorrow.